guys, so I'm here today for another installment of my insert brand here revisited series. The first one I did was on Lil Fox and I sort of combined it with the Lil Fox um, uh, products that were included in the clean, the clean beauty box that month. I can link that video down below. It's sort of what my idea of for this series is, is to rediscover and like re-review products from a brand, um, like all the products that I've tried and I have from that brand. Because what happens is I will try like one or two products, I'll talk about them in certain videos, um, but I don't really give you like a good overview of, you know, the brand and the products. So I like this idea of rediscovering brands, brands that maybe I've, you know, talked about a long time ago, or maybe there's a formula change or a packaging change or something. Um, in the case of today's video, we're doing a Car Skin, who is a brand that I have used and tried a lot over the years. I first discovered them in actually the very first Perless box I ever received. Um, they were one. Uh, I think I think most of the products were included. There was an oil I think in there, the toner, um, a lip serum, and I feel like there might have been something else in it. Maybe it's a little travel bag. Um, but I tried some of their products in that bag and then, or in that box, and then they were featured in the Clean Beauty box. I think they were only featured in two boxes so far. I'm not sure. But anyway, I have worked with the brand um, since then too. You know, she sent me product. We've met a couple of times. I, I saw her at Indie Beauty Expo, I think in California. I can't remember if that was the first time I saw her. Maybe it was Dallas. I'm not sure. But then in New York, I saw her again. And then she recently repackaged all of her products into new packaging. So if you are familiar with a car skin from before, this is what her packaging used to, to look like. It used to come in the, the violet glass um, dropper style bottles. It had, you know, like a little sticker on the front. Um, everything came in a box that had like all the ingredients on it. None of, the, none of them have the ingredients on them. Um, and then her little lip, lip products came in the pot. I didn't actually save um, the toner packaging, but I've got the two oils. Um, she had two different face oils, a toner, an eye serum, and then two different lip butters. So I was going to do a review um, quite a while ago for a car skin and then when I was talking to her she was like well I'm repackaging if you want to wait um, until all the new packaging comes out and I was like well yes that seems like a much better idea. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be rediscovering a car skin. I'm going to tell you all about the new, the new packaging. I'm going to tell you all about the products, how I've liked them over the years, how I incorporate them into my routine, um, which ones I like the most. Um, which ones I've tried the most. I mean, I've tried them all, but um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. So here is the new Akar skin packaging. They're still in dropper style bottles, but now everything comes in frosted red glass, <laughs> not just frosted glass, but frosted red glass. Um, and the droppers are actually kind of cool. So it's got, you can see this little doohickey here. And then when you twist it, it pops up and then the dropper just comes out, you know, in this little style right here. So, and then when you push it back in to turn it, it turns and the, the, the pump dispenses back in, um, if that makes sense. So I don't have one of the oils here anymore, but I do have um, the Clarify oil, which is the oil I like the best anyway. Um, so she's changed the names on some of them. The Clarify oil um, used to be the Neat Remedy Face Oil. And then the Desert Rescued Face Oil is now called the Soothe Face Oil. The Nutrient Boost Eye Serum is now called the Restore Eye Serum. The Lush Balance Toning Mist is now just called the Balance Toning Mist. And then the Lip Butters. So we've got the Pure Lip Restoration, which used to be the Mini Care Lip Butter, and then the Ruby lip restoration, which used to be the ruby tint lip butter. So all of the formulas are still the same. It's just in new beautiful packaging now. And um, I like this style of packaging better. I like the frosted glass. I feel like it gives it more of like a, I wouldn't say unique at this point because everybody's doing frosted glass, but I feel like it just gives it more of like a luxurious effect, a luxurious look to the line. Um, it just looks so much more polished and um, 
yeah, I like it. The violet glass is really great for preserving product. And I do feel like frosted glass still does, but, and I keep my stuff out of sunlight anyway. Um, so my products aren't just sitting out like in the sun. I do put them in like a closet or I put them in drawers to keep, you know, the light from hitting them. And so it keeps them preserved fresh that way. Um, so I don't really feel like frosted glass has any noticeable effect, at least in my opinion, on the preservation of products. I've got products that are as old as some of some really old products in violet glass that I've had in frosted glass that have, you know, are still, they still smell good. They still work the same. Um, I mean, obviously they're not fresh at that point because they've been old, you know, they've been around for a while, but they're still usable and they're not, they haven't gone bad. If maybe that's what I want to say. So the boxes got a makeover too. Here is the look of the new boxes. So they're all just red. It's got a little flower on it. It's got all the information, ingredients, things like that. So let's go over each individual thing, I guess. So what I'll talk about first is the Balance Toning Mist. I actually really, really like this toning mist. This is my third bottle of this. I've used up two previous bottles, a travel size and then a full size. This is actually bigger than it used to be. It used to be the 1.7 ounce and now it's 2.4 ounces. So you're getting a little bit more than you used to in the full size. It's formulated to help protect skin from environmental pollution and help helps rejuvenate the skin's appearance. Vegan stem cells derived from saffron promote, re, promote repair while uh, rose and neroli restore. So it's got rose flower water, uh, neroli water, white willow bark extract, um, it's got saffron cell extract and then lactobacillus ferment. And it has also got radish root ferment to help preserve. I, like I said, I really, really love this. It's very like soothing and uh, cooling. And I do feel like it's very, very balancing when I use it before serums or before, or I mean after serums. My skin just feels balanced, it feels hydrated. Um, the, it's got a very interesting scent. I think it's sort of like the mix of the rose and neroli and the saffron gives it this almost like tortilla-like scent to me. I don't really get rose from it. I don't really get neroli from it. I don't really get the saffron from it either. Like the combination of those, it just gives it a very interesting scent. And I, I it's like, is it off-putting? Is it not, not off-putting? It's not really like pleasant but it's not unpleasant either. It's sort of like, it's just a weird, <laughs> I'll just say it's a weird scent, but I love the effect that this has on my skin. I don't really, I don't let the scent bother me that much. And I mean, it just, it dissipates really quickly. It really only is there for like the first two or three seconds that you spray it. Like right now I don't smell it anymore. It's really only while you spray it, but the effect that it has my, gives my skin, you know, it's soothing and it's cooling and it's balancing, um, you know, outweighs any, scent <laughs> issues that I might have with it. So I love this toner. I, this is one that I always want to keep in my rotation because I feel like it is, it's a really great balancing toner. It really does help soothe, um, and restore and repair the face. I just absolutely love that stuff. So yeah, this is one of my favorite toners. Um, so the eye serum, the restore eye serum, let me pull out my information for this. It's a potent eye serum for the delicate eye area. It's formulated specifically to reduce the appearance of puffiness, dryness, dark circles, and uneven textures. Goji seed oil is rich in, in essential fatty acids, working synergistically with pumpkin seed oil in a blend of botanical extracts to tighten and rejuvenate. So it's got argan, baobab, goji, almond, uh, sea buckthorn, castor seed, sunflower, uh, rose hip, rosemary leaf extract, pumpkin seed oil, and then mushroom extract. So in terms of dark circles, I don't really know that anybody who makes those claims, I haven't, I mean, I've got dark circles because I don't sleep that much, though I'm wearing a good concealer today, you can't really tell. <laughs> um, but I do love this, I think it's incredibly moisturizing. Literally one drop is all that you need of this, so I'm just going to show you one, like you barely want to press on this to get one drop and that's enough for both um, of the under eyes. It's incredibly moisturizing. It really is. Um, so it looks, it like, 
I'm glad that this comes in such a small bottle. 10 ml is perfect for an eye serum because literally this is going to take all year to use using just one drop at a time. You do not want to use more than one drop. I've tried using two drops and it ends up being too much oil. So literally one drop is perfect. It is. It's incredibly moisturizing. I never have any dryness around my eyes. I can't speak to dark circle, dark circles. Unevenness, I don't I don't really know. I haven't noticed like a ton of unevenness, so maybe it has helped with that. I've been using this the last like month or so. It's been like pretty much the only eye serum that I've been using because I wanted to give it a good test before I, you know, did my rediscovering of a car skin. So I really like this. If you're looking for a simple oil, it has a very nice scent too. Um, if you're looking for like a simple oil, one that really, really helps with moisturization around the eyes, that really helps with dryness. You know, puffiness hasn't even been an issue for me too, and so I, I guess I would gather to say that this has probably helped with puffiness. I use it morning and night, two times a day, so I really like this. Um, and I'm not typically a fan of oils like this. I've talked about that quite a lot, um, but I really, really like the formula of this, so it's sort of like a trade-off. I do wish it came in like a roller. I mean, I like roller, I roller serums much, much better, um, but I really like the formula of that and I do think it's a great formula, so it's a little bit of a trade-off. And it's easy to get such a small drop um, using this dropper where sometimes with, you know, stuff like this, uh, droppers like these, it's much harder to get like a smaller drop. You know what I mean? So that's the eye serum. Um, next is the Clarify Face Oil. So this is deeply soothing blue tansy joins German chamomile in a base of argan and safflower oils to clarify, balance sebum and calm inflammation without drying skin. Um, unlike most treatments that call for drying and harsh products for oily combination skin, our formulas, uh, our formulation contains carefully chosen oils rich in linoleic acid, crucial in restoring skin sebum level and keeping skin, um, keeping skin ails at bay. Um, suitable for oily combination sensitive skin, which um, I definitely have sensitive skin on top of it being oily and acne prone. So it's got argan, safflower, baobab, goji, blue tansy, sea buckthorn, German chamomile. Uh, it's got myrrh, frankincense, rose hip, sunflower, and rosemary. So as you can see, it is a little bit darker than like the eye serum was because the blue tansy gives it a little bit of a blue tint. So it's sort of like blue green. It's got a very pleasant scent. This was my favorite product from, um, the Neat Remedy Face Oil was my favorite product from Akar Skin uh, when I very first tried it. I just really, really loved the formula. I think it's really soothing. It's especially great for those of us with oily, acne-prone skin um, that leans more sensitive and red because this helps to soothe. I love Blue Tansy especially, um, you know, when I'm dealing with sensitive skin issues because it really does help calm uh, my skin especially, it helps with redness, it helps with soothing, it helps with inflammation. So I'm an avid lover of blue tansy and anything that I can get blue tansy in or if I see blue tansy as an ingredient, I immediately gravitate towards it because I know how much it helps my skin. I've got so many. I definitely should do something blue tansy video related where I talk about my favorite products that contain blue tansy in it because I just, I love the ingredient. I think it's great for those of us who've got acne prone skin. So this is also a very light oil. I do like to mix it in with my moisturizer because I'm not, um, I'm not using oils so much on their own anymore. I like to mix them in with my moisturizers. Um, it's just what I'm preferring these days, but I do still love a good oil. It's really, it's, I mean, it does, it feels really nice on the skin. And I just love that scent. The scent of the blue tansy mixed with like all the other things in there, it really just, it leaves my skin feeling super soft, super soothed, super moisturized. I mean, I might try to, I might try to go back to using this underneath the oil or the, underneath the moisturizer that I'm using. Cause right now I'm mixing in like three drops of it into a moisturizer, but I really like the way that this feels on my hand. I think I need to go back to using it actually on my skin and then doing the moisturizer over top. I just, I really love that oil. It's one of the best blue tansy um, face oils. I've got a couple. The Nini Organics is also a really, really great blue tansy oil. Um, the Naturalogic Rarify, of course, so great. Um, all of those, really, if you are someone who's got sensitive acne prone skin, um, or if you need you know, like inflammation soothing, get something with blue tansy in it because it really, really is great. So the last two are the Akar Lip Restorations. So they come in these 
Little Pots, super cute. There is Ruby. Oh, I just stuck my finger in it. <laughs> uh, let's put it on my lips because that's what I'm wearing today anyway. So there is the Ruby, which is the red tinted one. And I think it's, what is it tinted with? I think it's, um, so it's castor seed oil, almond oil, beeswax. This is the two lip products, so they're only non-vegan products. I feel like I saw that she was working on a vegan alternative on her stories, but now I can't remember if that was her or someone else. Um, it's got baobab, goji, sea buckthorn, rose hip, orange peel, um, sunflower, rosemary, uh, rose, and then it's got the alkanet root extract is what uh, tints it red. So it's like a nice juicy red color. I really, really love it. It's really nicely moisturizing. I, I like this one on when I want like a light wash of color when I'm wearing makeup or when I'm going to bed or just doing skincare that day. Um, I like to use just the pure, which is, I think it's all this, it should be all the same ingredients just without the alkanet root. So they're both incredibly moisturizing. I really love both. Um, I like to use them as a nighttime treatment, uh, or the pure. I like to use the pure as a nighttime treatment because it lasts a really long time. And this I like when I'm, I want just like a light, sort of like juicy look to my lips. So that's everything that's actually in the Acar line. She does have a second fa uh, face oil, like I told you. It's now called the Soothe Face Oil. It used to be the Desert Rescue, which is great. I mean, I liked that oil too, but um, it's if you're more dry or mature skin, I think you would like that one. Um, Maybe a little bit better than the Clarify Face Oil. That one is great for soothing and it's great for those of us with like inflammation. But if you're more of a dry or mature skin, you might get more benefit from the Soothe. I really liked both actually. I didn't find that the, the Soothe Face Oil or the Desert Rescue didn't really work for my skin, it did. I just prefer the Clarify because it's more made for what I'm looking to target in my skincare. I love the Acar line, it's very minimal. It's only got six products in the line right now. So the two face oils, the eye oil, the two lip butters, and the balanced, or the, the toner. I believe she's working on some other products, and I, I mean, I hope that's the case. I always love when brands that I love, you know, release new products, because I just love, <laughs> I love new stuff. Um, and I love discovering new products and things like that. And I love that she's got a lot of the same ingredients across the line. It's really effective. She does offer minis of all of her products. Um, or all, everything except the, the lip butter. She's got the Balanced Toning Mist, comes in a 15 mil sprayer. The Restore Eye Serum will come in a three mil, um, like tiny, tiny little dropper. Um, and then she's got seven mils of the Clarify Face Oil and the Soothe Face Oil. So if you want to try a car skin, but you don't want to invest in the full size products until you've tried them, known if they work for your skin, she does offer the minis for between 15 and $28, depending on the product. The eye serum is gonna run you 28, uh, the, the toning mist will run you 15, and the two oils will run you 24 each. So that's a great way to try out the products um, if you want to try them out before you invest in full sizes of the minis. I love that. I love when companies offer mini sizes because then you can try, you know, if you're if you're someone like me who's your skin, you're a skincare junkie anyway, um, getting minis is great because you don't have to have so many full size products and you could try a lot of different things. Um, you know, and to know if it works for your skin enough to invest in the full size if you really love it as much. If I was going to tell you my two favorite products that, like, I can't live without, um, it's probably going to be the Balance Mist. I really, really like this mist. It's one of the best balancing mists I've found for those of us with oily skin. I love a lot of mists, but a lot of the mists I have are more hydration based they're more you know they focus on their main focus is hydration and hydrating the skin but in terms of balance toning mists there aren't very many good ones um, at least that I've found uh, the ba this balance one is great it's hydrating as well as it being um, really balancing for the skin and it keeps your skin hydrated while soothing it and balancing it at the same time um, my next would probably be Maybe the uh, the ruby, the ruby lip tint. I just love it when I want like like a nice juicy look to my lips, and I want them moisturized and lasts a long time. So those are probably my go-to like will constantly repurchase products. The other ones I love as well, but in terms of favorites, those are probably my two 
like top picks from the line. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you are unfamiliar with a car skin or maybe you've heard me talk about them before or seen them around and you wanted some more information, um, definitely check out the a car skin website, you know, pick yourself up some minis. Those are some really great deals on some minis. And um, yeah, I'm excited to continue doing my rediscovering of brands reviews. Um, I think it's a great way to give you guys a full look at the line or a full look at most of the products in the line, whatever I have. Um, how I feel about certain products, which ones I would rebuy, which ones I feel like maybe don't work for me as well. But um, I love all the products in the Acar Skin line. They all have worked well for me. There's not a single one that I would just I would say like, nah, this one doesn't work that well, but I love all of these products. And yeah, that's really all I've got for this video today. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know if you've tried any of Car Skin, what your favorites are, um, and I will see you guys in my next one.